Good morning, it's Tuesday and today we have so much to do, a lot of happening today and something big for Isabella. Hi, we are Luke and Heather Bell and we have eight children and we are just the Bell's 10. Yes, yeah, so we have lots going on today. Um, Isabella has tennis practice at 8, 8.30. Joshi has to work at 11. Noah has a game at 3. Then I have to come back and get my big chicken going. Izzy, Haley, and Noah have to deliver eggs before he plays today. And then at 6.30 this evening, Isabella is taking her driving test. Super exciting. So we have a big day today already. And uh, I'm kind of excited for her to get her driver's test because I'm not a more. I'll admit it. Uh, I admit it. I'm not a morning girl. Sometimes I am. It just depends. If there's something going on special, I'll get up. I was just telling them you got a big driving test today. You excited? Nervous. She's nervous. Really nervous. You'll do fine. You'll do fine. You have practice at 8.30, right? I gotta check the email again. I checked it last night before I left. He said there might be practice. Oh, because of rain? So, he said he'll email us. Okay. Well, I guess you need to find out because I'm up right now. And Josh, he has to work at 11. Okay. So, he's going to have to come with us. And he's already not happy that I woke him up. And... Oh, he was happy that it was downstairs. He said good oh. morning to us. Oh, he did? Yeah. Okay, and then the kids have delivery, so I have to get that ready. So if you could go check for me real fast, because I have to know if I have to get deliveries ready for the kids. So, yes, we have lots going on today. And um, that's just kind of been how our life is, is lots going on. So, <sighs> I don't know, I'm just really tired, but I guess I need to get used to it. It's supposed to rain today, so it's kind of overcast, but, um, and the days are getting shorter. Uh, it's really cool though, living up here in the UP. So in the summer, it doesn't get dark till 1030, almost 11. Sometimes at 11, you can still see outside, but then it get, the sun rises at like 6, 620 or 630 or something. And then as winter comes, our um, shortest day of the year is what, December 21st, 22nd, and it can get dark at 5.30. But then it gets nice, the sun comes up at like six or something. Oh, excuse me. So, um, and that's when we have all the snow, of course. So it gets dark at 5.30, then you have all the snow and you're like, oh crap, you know? All right, well, Izzy's gonna check our schedule. Maybe I can just go down and have coffee and not have to rush right in right away. That would be nice. Um, I have a chicken that I bought at the fair. It's like this big. I'm going to be making big, big chicken. I put together our weekly schedule for a menu. Um, we had did the month schedule where everybody gets to pick a day to cook and stuff. And that just didn't work for us. It was just too far in advance to have to plan meals. So that board we're turning into our activity board and special event board. Joshy working. I'm going to actually work on that. And then we bought this um, really cool chalk, weekly chalkboard thing. It's huge. Like I didn't think it was, gonna, it was like, it's like huge. I didn't realize how big it was. So we turned that into our weekly meal board. And so we had nachos yesterday. On uh, Monday we had tacos, oh no, pizza. And then today I'm doing the baked chicken. Izzy wants me to make her meatloaf. I think that's tomorrow. She's gonna make fajitas this week. I'm gonna make tater tot casserole, which I haven't made tater tot casserole in a while. So, I wrote it on the piece of paper. Good morning, 11 Josh. To 11 to 4. Okay. Yeah, I wrote it on and it's in my wallet. All right. Well, Izzy is checking to see if she has to be early. No, she's on your, com on your guys' computer right now. All right. So, go get ready just in case we have to leave in 30 minutes. Get your pants and your get your tie. Get a clean shirt I'm on. I'm wearing a tie. I'm wearing a bow tie. Okay, your bow tie. Brush your teeth and brush your hair. I don't wear a tie anymore. I know. Well, for now. I need to go. get the stupid wood done. Okay, honey. Say Mom. good morning. Say good morning. Hi. <laughs> okay, go get ready. I love you. <laughs> that was a nice hug this morning. Okay, I know we're always tired. I know we're always tired for some reason. Where he worked, he cut wood from 
nine yesterday until dark, like seven. Like, and he didn't even take a break. I'm like, you gotta eat, I'm not hungry, mom. I think he had a snack. Our buddy, my, hus my husband's best friend from high school is actually got a camper in the backyard of the boy's house. Um, he's doing a job here and so he's kind of camping out there and he eats dinner and takes showers and stuff here. Hey, so, oh, he gave him popsicles. Yeah. Ooh, what was that? That didn't sound good. I don't know. Okay, go get clean clothes. I'll make sure they're clean. Make sure you brush your hair. All right, well, we're going to get our morning going and then get on the road. The life of a mom of many kids. You know, even my older kids, I still have to help them and do things. I mean... People are like, how come you take care of your older kids? Well, 19 isn't like super old. Neither is 20. They still need help. Oh, so that means you're probably having a practice? Yeah. Okay, well, then I better get ready because I have to leave in 20 minutes then. Uh, okay. All right. Oh, no, All right. Really <laughs> Noah, eggs, Haley, eggs. I got my coffee. They're upset I took all the coffee. <laughs> Haley's hiding because she says she looks rough this morning. You don't look rough. There's my chicken for baked chicken today because that's the thing on the list. Yeah, we're going. Okay. So this is our new weekly list. We made nachos yesterday. Today I'm making baked chicken. Izzy has tennis. Here's my baked chicken that I thought out and I'm going to be making the chicken. I'm coming right now. Okay. I, I love you guys. I don't know who stuck bananas in there. That's crazy. They need to breathe. Okay, I love you guys. See you later. Oh, dark hours. Okay. Let's go out the front door. You got my stuff? No. The stuff's on the t on the stairs, Haley, and then go to Scott Huber's office. Joshy, we got to go. Right now, Josh. Come on, come on. She'll be late. Oh, yeah, you got to feed those do doges. There's my rower that I brought out here to not use ever. Good morning. You know, I should be a morning person because I actually do like the mornings. There's Izzy Carr. Big day today for Izzy. We need to clean up our front porch. It's a little messy. I can't believe our plants have actually stayed alive this long. What? There's my egg girl. I got to pay you too. I oh, there's the, look at the dogs are waiting for you. Haley, they're standing next to the barn because you're late. Right there. Right there? No. Right Why there. is your dog eating like that, Izzy? Oh, yeah, she likes cat she food. She's a creep. She's not. She's not a creep. That's Mom, a, that's she not. Licks toes. She licks toes. She licks cats. toes because she she, she licks cats people. because she's a mama. Stop it! Stop it! Okay, here we go. Heading her. Come on, Izzy. You said we had to go. I'll weed in my garden a little bit. All right, we're off. No. No. Come on, Josh. Whoa, is he? Where's Josh? You're going to be late. Um, I better not be late or someone else is going to bring you in. Well, you I came in around the school. Yeah, well, you came I in was late. Ready. I've, I've been ready. Josh, she's going to be late. Where? Daisy, tell Josh, let's go. Go tell Daisy. Tell Josh. Josh, we're going to be late. Run. All right, we made it to soccer. She had to be there at 8.30. It's 8.26. Tennis. I even, or tennis. I even gave you four minutes to spare. Work hard. I love you. <laughs> okay, so we got Izzy to tennis. Um, she's like, Mom, you have to get me there by 8.30 because if you don't, I have to run around the school. So I got there at 8.30. Well, actually, 8.26. And um, she's doing really, really good. I need her to sign up to try out for varsity though, but she says that she's just doing it for fun, but she's better than fun. 
I know that might seem really weird, but she does a really good job. And I think that she could actually like make the varsity team if she tried. So I don't know, I'm really proud of Izzy. She's doing good. So today she has her driving test and um, I'm gonna surprise her and get her something today because I'm breaking my rule. I always wait till the kids are getting a job, which she does work full time <coughs> at the farm. <coughs> um, she does have a job so she can help pay. So I messaged my husband, I said, we've got to get Izzy this because I just, it's so hard to get a hold of my kids. So I'm gonna surprise her here um, when she gets done with tennis and take her somewhere special to get her something. But she has to be responsible and she has to be careful and she can't, you know, it, it, she has to be really careful. So I'm gonna put some rules on it just because she is younger She's very, very, very responsible though, but you know, I still have to make sure that we're monitoring. I just don't want to say anything because Josh is here and he'll tell the secret before I get to say anything. So, all right, got her to tennis. And now I think me and Josh are going to go get some breakfast. Um, you want breakfast? No. What do you mean no? What are you going to eat before you go to work? You want to just hang out then? I just sit there and they have coffee at Super Bowl, so I do you want me to go get you a coffee while we have time? No. No? You don't want to do nothing? I'll just sit out so far. Well, honey, you don't work till 11. Mom, it... I know you don't... Me. I know, but you don't work till 11. I'm not going to take you in at 8.30. Okay, how about I put a show in our thingy and you can come right up front and watch a show while we're waiting? No. Okay, we're going to work on that. He's a little tired. He's up and down. Like, one minute he's happy, the next minute he's not happy but he's normally a happy person. Okay, come on up and we'll just wait for Izzy. She's only in practice for an hour. No. Mom. So it is almost 10 o'clock. Isabella, um, I think that they're gonna use her and her friend. They are really good at doubles. They won all of their matches, the last meet. And so I think that they are practicing them with the varsity, which I think Izzy could easily be on varsity. Um, they're practicing them with the varsity to see if they can play. And I'm watching all the football players come in to practice. And I have to be honest with you, I'm really, really struggling. Like we're a football family and I've watched Noah play football since he was fourth grade. And so I'm really, really struggling. I just give it a second and see what happens. That doesn't work, remember? I'm just really, really struggling with uh, not having football. Like I'm really... I've been really emotional lately about it. I just, I love soccer. It's so fun. Um, it's fast paced. The kids are really great. The kids that he's playing soccer with are amazing, but I'm really just really struggling with not being there. I just, oh, kids growing up is so hard here. Me and Josh here watching uh, mall cop too. While we're waiting for Izzy, he has to work in an hour and a half. So I think we're going to go get breakfast and then, um, head over but I just seen I just got another email saying that the kids have pictures today so now I have to call Haley <coughs> excuse me let her know that no one needs to get in here for school pictures Izzy has school pictures and she's wearing her she's wearing um uh tennis gear so luckily it's just the waist up so I don't know just this is just a whole new a whole new part of our lives you know just you know, and I know we don't have a lot of little kids and people just assume that when you have a lot of little kids, you're busier, but you know what? Having older children, it's okay. It's okay, honey. It's just as busy and emotional and you deal with just different things. It's not the same things, but you're still busy with older kids because those older kids are starting to start their own journey. And that's even harder as a parent than watching your toddlers or kids go through elementary school or things like that. I mean, yeah, I mean, every, every area of a life brings different challenges, but I'm telling you, raising a dog, no, no, every, raising kids at older is a whole different ball game. Like you just deal with a lot more things, more serious things, things that'll change their lives forever. And so I'm doing good, but I'm not doing good because I want to 
tell my kids what they should do, but I can't do that anymore because our kids are older and they have to, you know, I can give them my opinion if they want, or I can, you know, if I feel burdened about sharing something with them, I can share that with them, but I can't tell them what to do. I can't make that decision for them. They have to make that for themselves. And so it's so hard watching my kids make these life decisions without mom and Whew. and my sweet Josh we'll be together forever won't we we'll put your little house behind me and so it really is it's just so different you guys it's just I thought the toddler years were hard they're not I thought the preteen years were hard they're not I even thought the teenage years were hard they're not Nothing compared to watching your children start their journeys on their own. They know we ha that we have their back, but I, you can't tell them what to do. You could advise them, but ultimately it's their decision who they pick to be with the rest of their lives, where they pick to live and, and who, where they pick to work. It's just, oh, I got to really be in prayer on my knees for my family it's just not easy. You know, we, jo Noah, or not Noah, Robert had a deep tissue massage from this guy who traveled the whole world and he was in Taiwan for 15 years and just learned this um, massage technique and just releasing things and three hours long and my Robert just really is struggling with migraines and he's just struggling in life right now. Just trying to find his way and make the right decision. And it's so hard as a parent, just watching them struggle and watching them hurt and watching them. Just the unsurety of the future. Like it's just, I don't know. When I talk about my kids, I'm very emotional. You know, it's just, it's not easy. You know, it's not easy watching your kids be sad or in pain or unsure struggle. Like it's just, it's so hard. Like I can hug them. But ultimately, it's their journey, you know, and, and it's just, it is not easy as a mom. And I know a lot of people are like, how come you still feed your kids when they're older? How come you still do things for your kids when they're older? Because they still need us. They still need to know that mom's going to make cookies. They still need to know that when they work hard, I have a dinner ready. Whether they come over and eat it or not, I have to cook anyway for friends and everything. But it just, it just really... Um, I don't know you guys, it's just another area of life that I'm learning and growing through. And that's why we're kind of waiting till our kids move out before we bring in new children because there is a couple kids that the social worker has called me. Their last name is Belle. She really wants them with us. I don't know what's gonna happen with that. They're younger, 10 and 14, but you know, it's just, I gotta really be a help to my kids because they need us when they're older. Just because they're adults doesn't mean they don't need us anymore. They might even need us more. And so we, we and my husband really want to make sure that we're giving them the attention and, and, and the things they need before we start bringing in more children that are going to need us too. So I don't know, you guys. Just be praying for the Bell family. We have lots of cool things coming up in our family, big decisions to make. And um, as a whole family unit, I'm excited to start my podcast. I'm really excited to start that. So, all right, looks like Izzy's done. And then we're going to move on to, I think, breakfast and I'm, I'm, I'm being too loud so Josh can't hear his mall cop too. <laughs> All right, so we picked up Izzy. I've seen you practice for a long time. Uh, yeah, because I'm absolutely good. You should have saw the one hit I had. It went over the net and it totally turned and hit their side of the net. Well, it totally now turned. it's time to take Joshy to work. All right, so now we're going to head and take Joshy to work. I guess we don't have the picture. She's going to have him taken tomorrow. So now we're going to move on to our next... Uh, our next adventure. On to our next adventure. I can't get out, so there we go. All right, so we got Joshy at work. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, We're a little early, so I'm going to give him some money, and he is going to go get some breakfast before he... Goes to work. So I'm not wearing these. Do you want to just keep your clothes in no. here? I'm picking you up, hon. I know. I don't like to wear these clothes because when I get home, I can just throw these in the house. But morning. we have to go to to a game first. I'm okay, here. The game. Okay, so get some breakfast. 
and then go to work. I love you. I'm keeping the change and the dollars. My wallet. Okay. Got your water. Here's your water. And your sunglasses. And your sunglasses. I love you. Wait. See ya. I'm going to work with Josh. There he goes. Just there kidding. he goes. I quit my job at Super One. All right. So now we're going to head home. Um, Izzy's got to practice her parallel parking for her big test. Are you excited? Yeah, you're nervous. Okay, now we're gonna head home. I'm gonna I'm gonna video you practicing. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. All right. We're the, off. the only good thing about my car is that it's small. It is. So. Yeah, it is small. I gave her. I love that car so much, and it, I gave it to her because she deserves it. My siblings always ask to drive, and I tell them no because yeah. they like to get in lots of and, accidents. And sport mode. Yeah. yeah. All right, you've been so responsible. It's time to get you a phone. Seriously, but there's going to be restrictions and rules because okay. you are 16. Don't let me down. So we're heading home. Show them. But she's going to be good with it, right? Yeah. I got to get a hold of her. I'm down to Noah and her at school. The phones we got from AT&T were free and they are garbage. Yeah, Noah's garbage. not ready for a big boy phone right now. He does really good, but... His last phone he had um, got lost in the snow. Like it fell out of his pocket while he was four wheeling. One before that got smashed. He's really not good with phones. And honestly, I don't think he really cares. He's just not a phone guy. He's kind of like Gideon. They just don't really care about their phones too much. He's outside, he's like never inside. Yeah, he's not inside, so he'll be okay. And then his time is coming. So, all right, now we're gonna head home so she can practice parallel parking for tonight. All right, we're heading to the house. My husband, my kids hate it when I drive over their basketball court. <laughs> um, so we're set up to practice her parallel parking. We gotta chain that. Oh, right there. Why is the space so small? That's the spaces, honey. Huh. All right, grab your car. I'm eating a laugh of taffy. I know it's so rude, hey? <coughs> All right. Are you ready? You got to be ready. You take your test in like four hours. What? What do you say? Come here, Clover. You got to use your mirrors. Clover, come here, Clover, come here. Let me hold you, cause you're gonna wanna come here. Yeah, I told her that actually. Go to the mailbox, using your mirrors. Get on the road, you're in the ditch. Okay, too much. There you go. Cut her back. Keep this cone in your mirror. Oh, you just about hit that car. Okay, you're good. You're good. You got a backup camera in that? Well, use it. Can't you see the cone? Now you got to go forward. It's a three. Okay, you're in the traffic. You're too far this way. When you take the test, there'll be four cones. You're in the road. Well, this is the parking alley. This is the parking alley. Right? This is a car. Picture this as the front of the car. I don't have any more cones. Right? Put this is the so you need to be you got to be inside this cone this way just pull up now I'll cut her back oh you ran oh you ran over the, cone. the cones under your wheel you crushed it <laughs> Person. 
See how dad doesn't turn so much in there? Oh, he hit the car behind you. I didn't hit that cone. You were past the cone. It didn't even wiggle. You were, <laughs> you were past the cone, love. You can do multiple turns. Up! Oh, you hit the car. Hold on. I got you. I can teach our kids if we can't even do it ourselves. I did it. <laughs> okay, here I go. Okay, so it's crunch time. She does her test at 6.30 today. Um, it took me two tries, but you can't really see anything. Like, it, I like my big vehicles. Like, I could, I could parallel park a Suburban all day long, but that little car, I don't like little cars with little windows. My husband didn't even do very well. So, uh, yeah, she's gonna keep practicing. And she's like, she's super smart though. She's one of my best drivers ever. I got crazy kids, crazy. Oh, you gave up, hey? You gave up? All right, I gotta get shorts on. It's really nice today. Woo! All the lights got left on. What in the world? What do you guys think? You're born in a barn? <laughs> well, we live in a barn. Sheesh, let's just throw all the lights on. Mom will pay for it. Whatever. Okay, so while Izzy is working, because I know we're gonna be gone all day, I started this chicken. It's a whole chicken. Um, I actually put it on 300. I'm going to cook it for a little bit and then I'm going to cut my potatoes, carrots, and I'm going to put cabbage in it too and an onion. So I put um, Italian seasoning because it has so many different seasonings in it. Garlic, minced onion. Um, I also added some pickling seasoning because it had like different kind of peppers, coriander, had some dill. Um, it had a little bit of cinnamon, but I'm going to try it and see what happens. So I didn't put too much, just a little bit. So I'm going to let this cook. Get the chicken cooking for a little bit. And then, um, let's see, it's 12.10. Uh, my nose is running because of spices. I'm gonna let it cook for about an hour on this 300 degrees, and then I'm gonna throw all my veggies in. And because I have to leave by two o'clock to go to Noah's game, so I'm gonna just keep letting it cook, and then hopefully whoever's here will grab it out and uh, hopefully take a picture so we can see the final results. But anyway, so. I'm going to let this cook for an hour. Go see how Izzy's doing outside practicing. Um, it sounds like Dad's actually becoming one of the cones, so we'll see how that goes. All right, so it is 1.30, and I added... My hair's all messed up. I added all my veggies, so I added carrots, onions, potatoes, and I also threw some cabbage down there because I thought with, like, the juices from the chicken, the spices, I'm going to put a little bit more water in it. Um, I might even put a little bit of butter maybe on top of the chicken, um, but I thought maybe those juices would like make the cabbage cook and taste nice because cabbage is supposed to be good for you. Izzy is setting up her phone. She's got all her logs ready for her driving test. She practiced more with her um, parallel parking. Um, I think she's going to do fine. So now we're just kind of sitting and having some downtime. Noah's game is at 3.30. We got to pick up Josh at 4. Then after that, we have to run and get um, Izzy's driving test. And so we're not going to be home till. Probably like eight. That's one of the reasons I got this chicken done. All right, so we're in Isabella's car. She is driving because she has to take her test in this car. Uh, we got dinner ready to go. Um, she got all her stuff she needed to do for the test. And now we're gonna head in. I think we're, we gotta go pick up the insurance because we couldn't find uh, an active or a up-to-date copy of the insurance. So we're gonna go pick that up. I think we're gonna meet Haley for some food. And then um, we got to grab Joshy from work at four. Gonna be a little late for Noah's game. It starts at 3.30, but we gotta pick Joshy up and it's not close. So we're gonna pick Josh up then go there. So we're gonna be a little late for the game, but then we're gonna go to the game. We have a little bit of time to kill. I'm sure my husband's gonna wanna do something. Well, we don't really need to eat dinner because I have a beautiful dinner. So his game will probably be done at um, five. 
wave and then Izzy takes her test at 6.30. Okay, there's Haley. We had lunch with Haley at Tamaki and Tea Smoothie King. I had the tiger roll and the pork gyoza. Izzy had the crunchy shrimp roll. Okay, just, yeah, turn it around. I gotta help Izzy because she's usually with me. All right, there goes Haley. She finished her egg deliveries. Now back to go get Josh. There's my hardworking guy. Where's your, where's my Coke? Where's my Coke? Here, get in on this side, get in on this side. We got, no, no, this side over here by Izzy. We got you some food. Oh. Uh-oh. There we go, what happened so there? there? All right, are you ready? We got, so that bag right there, we went to uh, Tamaki and Tea and bought you uh, some shrimp, shrimp fried rice and, work. yeah, you look like you're ready to work. Yeah, All right, know. now we're gonna head to Noah's. The mosquito just bit me. Really? Noah's um, soccer game, dad's waiting for us. All right, let's go, Izzy. So you're gonna go up and round to the right and then we're gonna take Sorry, the back Josh, road. All right, Joshy, how'd it go today? Good. Did you get any tips? Uh, I still have the money that you got me. I know, you told me you weren't gonna give me the leftovers. What'd you end up having uh, for breakfast when you were waiting to go to work? You're not on the road. Um, literally... You were just literally parked, uh, driving on the side of the road. I'm sorry, I really Um. All right, so there's gonna be a stop sign up here. We're gonna go, turn to the right. Bag of chips and well, how did it go? How did yeah. work go? Good. Yeah. All right, so now we're at Noah's game. We're gonna go see how it's going, and uh, hopefully he's playing good. Oh, what'd you bring me, Josh? I got some lemonade here. So basically, it's lemonade or just lemonade? Over there. Uh, well, what do you think lemonade is? Lemon so do you know who's winning? I think Marquette is. I've seen them score twice, and when I got here, they were pepper on the other end. They're not keeping track of the score, though. It's just considered a scrimmage, I guess. They said it can't be, it has to be a scrimmage, or you can't play. None of them will be able to play in a varsity game. Good job, Red. Keep going. Dad, this is my dinner. Get lunch there, Josh? And I got a big cart, but that's all I'm gonna put in it. I swear. Lies. I know the lies. I totally did a hand cart, and she acted like she didn't even listen to me. No, she he did. She told me to get a hand cart, and I didn't even listen to her. <laughs> but I gotta stay strong. Um, can I get this, Mom? Gotta stay strong. Okay. No candy. We're gonna have candy enough here soon. No, I think there's a candy. What is it? There was a red bull. I wanted to. No, no Red Bulls, no Red Bulls. No Red Bulls. Oh, these are those Aloha drinks. Let me see. I'm gonna get these shaved ice ones here. Here, take that. Let's try a couple different ones. Oh, my phone's dying on me. Here we go, that's a watermelon wave. And mimosa, we'll just try each kind. And cherry slush. We'll just try them, see what we think. All right. Like all these are 12. That's cool. Looks like chip tile. Yeah, I do like, like that. I kind of go with your phone. The one on the bottom's really cool. It's kind of a, like a wispy paint. This one's really cool. Wow, that's really cool. Is that a 12? I love that. And then this one's cool too. That one's not on sale. I do like this one. I like the bottom one. I think it's pretty neat. But it's your yours. Like that one. Well, okay. I like this one. <laughs> okay, is that the one you're gonna grab? Does it have yeah. black in it? Yeah. All right. Got your case for your phone. You owe me. You owe me. Oh, wow. But now we're gonna head to the car, and it's getting even closer to her driving test. So that's super exciting, huh, Izzy? <laughs> She's getting really nervous. She'll do fine. You'll do fine. You will. will, you will, you will. I'll do great. Yeah, you will, you'll do great. So like we walked out with two bags and there was a line like forever. People are just standing there. We're waiting to do self checkout and the line's like, go here to the right and it goes all the way around. And I'm just like, what the heck? So I walk up to everybody and I'm like, 
it, is this a self checkout line? They're like, oh, oh, the self checkout. I'm like, yes. No, you can keep going. Is anybody doing self checkout? And people are just looking at me like, huh? And so uh, they're like, no, we're checking out. So they kind of moved over, and then another lady just stopped there, and I go, are you doing self checkout? She goes, no, but there is a line there too, and I'm like. But I don't want to wait in this line where people's pot carts are full when I have like 10 items. So we went over and found the checkout because people were coming up from the other side. Um, you can turn here or you can go to the next one. I mean, this will probably be easier. Turn here. It's too late. Okay. Um, and so I'm like, I'm watching people come up the other side and just going through the checkout while we're in this big long line of people getting stuff for college. And uh, so I walked past there, you know, I was very nice. I didn't say anything. And then the lady behind me is like, I'm following you. You seem to know what you're doing. I'm like, what? It didn't make any sense. Like there's a self checkout and there's no line there. And then these people have their big carts and there's like lines everywhere. So now we're heading to TJ Maxx because Izzy despises our sock situation. And um, our whole family's like into this organizing thing. So now we're gonna see what we can find at TJ Maxx that we can stick in the hallway just to throw socks in it. Maybe even some mated, some not mated, where people can just grab them because they come into me and my husband's drawers, Gideon, and they take our socks, Joshua, even my socks. And I'm a girl, I got girl socks, and my kids yeah, wear my socks. socks. Then And Izzy's, and they stretch them out, and then we can't wear them anymore. So we're gonna see what we can do to, um, you gotta let them know. We're gonna see what we can do to let them, um, I just talked about two different things at once. We're gonna see what we can find for this sock deal we got going on. All right, so that was a total bust. We were in there for two seconds, nothing. nothing. No, and everything's like empty, like everything's empty, like absolutely nothing. So now we're gonna get in the car and head to our test and uh, just kind of wait, hopefully he'll be early. And then we can get his, our test done. All right. I don't know, honey. So we're a little early and we're at the place where she's gonna take her test. We're like 30 minutes early. Um, I don't know if there's anybody in front of us or what there might, he might be on the road with somebody else right now. So make sure you get your, yep. And you get your log and get everything that you need. I'll write the check when he gets here. You got your driver's license and mm -hmm. okay, cool. Got all our paperwork ready to go. And then I'll show you like here, over here, the cones. So that's like all the stuff that the different type of parking she's going to be doing. Um, I'm hoping I can be in the car. Usually if they're under 18, you're in the car with them while they're driving. I wasn't with David because he was over 18, but um, she's gonna do just fine. I don't know who that is. I don't know if that's the driver. Or... Oh, that was a German. Huh? That was a German. That was a who? German. I don't know what you mean by that. It was one of the Germans. Germans. Oh. Maybe they're taking a test too after you, or maybe they're taking at six and you're 6.30? I, I don't know either. All right, now we're just waiting. <laughs> waiting game. There he is. Are you even more nervous? Yeah, I'm throw up. You're not gonna throw up, you'll be fine. Take a deep breath, we've all done this. He's gonna go to the potty, come back, you're gonna be just fine. You got this, you're one of our best drivers. Huh. You're good, honey, you are good. That would be normal to be nervous. Oh, so you're just going in a circle? Um, I don't think you're going to go in just circles. Like if he makes me drive around. Is there a plug back here that I can plug into too or no? Oh, it's on the top in there? Yeah. Okay. All right. Here's the cones Try. where she's going to park. I think you do the parking last, honestly. I don't know. It's charging. Whoa. Put it back. It's charging. No, it's not. Okay, she's starting it. She's getting her instructions. I'm so nervous, oh my goodness. I know she's gonna do great. Lord, help her do good, help her do good. Help her do good.
and turn it in. There you go. There you go. There you go. Okay, stop, 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 stop. And pull in. Pull in a little bit. Once we get up to the top, we will take a left. <laughs> and we'll take the next right, right there. Right, so she did it. She did it, right? Yeah. You're nervous. She passed. She was super nervous, but you did it. Yeah. Okay, so effective tomorrow at 8. They said you're officially a driver tomorrow at 8. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> now we can head home, hey? Let's go watch a show and get a coffee at the house or something. <laughs> All right, are you ready? So, so what did he tell you? He said work on blind your blind spot spots. and centered staying centered yeah those are the two things that i told her about but what do you feel like now still nervous, <laughs> still nervous. just relieved hey yeah. oh my goodness you did it that's so great i'm so proud of you Thanks. <laughs>